Shar Margolis, Shar Communications Incorporated, and Shar Vision LLC do not endorse or offer for any purpose but entertainment the views of any guest or other expert on Shar Vision or UBN. I knew things before they happened from the time I was a child. At the age of eight, I saw a spirit at the foot of my bed and didn't know what it was. And in my 20s, I finally realized I had a special ability that could help others. I have learned that love never dies. There is a spirit world that can communicate with us, and we all have the gift of intuition. Join me, and together we will explore the possibilities of the unknown from beyond and more. This is Shar Vision. Hi, everybody. It's Sunny and Shar, and today is January 31st, 2000, oh, 2020. 2020. I never know how to call it, what to say about it. But um, hi, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, I just want to remind you, you can pre-order my book, The Universe is Calling You. And uh, we had a meeting today with DragCon, RuPaul's DragCon. So I will be there May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And um the extra show hasn't aired yet, and uh, I'm, I'm taping Daily Mail this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, And I'm also doing a radio tour, so who knows? I might be in your town on the radio. I'm, I'm, we're not sure what, what shows I'm doing yet. But um, I, I think one of the reasons that extra hasn't aired yet is because of all the breaking news with the impeachment trial and the very sad, sad story of the nine people who died in the airplane crash with Kobe Bryant and his daughter. And it made me think today, what should we talk about? Yeah, there's, there's a, for those of you who are, listen, are watching on video, there's a photo that someone sent me of all the victims that were in the crash. You know, it, it, it really... It makes me think that, you know, why did this happen? It, it just doesn't seem possible that it happened. And I wonder if anybody had a premonition for them not to be in an airplane, I mean, not to be in a helicopter, because I know I, I heard on the news that Kobe Bryant and his wife had a pact that neither, that they would never be on a helicopter together, which is an interesting pact. And... I saw another show where they were comparing John F. Kennedy Jr. with Kobe Bryant. And John, I know for a fact that John F. Kennedy Jr.'s mother, Jacqueline Kennedy, Bissett Kennedy, um, Onassis, had a vision that her son would die in an airplane crash. And she forbade him to, to fly... In, in his own private plane. And then, of course, we all know the rest of the story. So I wonder if anyone had a feeling not to go on the plane that day or, you know, why it, it, it seems like it was a decision that the pilot had, even though the it was cloudy and, and, and foggy, that, you know, maybe he... I don't know. It was his choice. And so we create our destiny by the choices we make. And we got to make good choices in life. And when we use logic, common sense, and intuition, we get our best answers. So I don't know if anyone had a gut feeling about it, but you know, it makes me wonder. And then I was thinking, boy, wouldn't, wouldn't it be interesting to have you guys call in, and I will do readings later on in, in the show, but in the beginning of the show, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if you guys call in and tell me what you think happens when there's a sudden death? And I'll tell you what I think happens when there's an unexpected sudden death. I mean, this was definitely out of the blue. So, and, and also, it's a time to send prayers to these families and their loved ones, and to the spirits who have met their maker on the other side. <clears throat> and um, 
I, I will tell you in a little while what I think happened, but I'd like to hear what you have to say. So do we have anybody calling in? We have plenty of people calling okay, in. Okay, do we have anybody calling in about the, the about topic? what happens when you die? Or did you have a near-death experience? Because if someone here has had a near-death experience, then they can tell us what it was like when they went to heaven and who they saw and what happened. And then did they see the white light? Did they... Did did they see Christ? Did they see Buddha? Did they see Muhammad? Who did they see? And then they were told to come back, and then and at that same time they were proclaimed dead on the operating table. So, um, it it coincides with their experience. There was one story I heard about a lady who was proclaimed dead on the operating table. Her ethereal body, which is her spirit body raised up and floated up into the ceiling she told every she memorized the serial numbers on the light fixture and then she they got her heart back working and she came back to her body and when she was when when she was coherent she told them exactly what those serial numbers were and they were completely accurate is that crazy that's crazy so, Kurt, do we have – oh, Kurt's on, on the board today. Kurt, yes. thank you for being here. No problem. Thank you. Um, we do have some calls coming in. I have one from uh, Canada ready for you if you're ready for that. Yeah. Is, is, it, um, is it somebody about near-death experience or uh, – She says she has – she's also in the chat room. She says she has a question that she has to okay, ask. Okay. So. I'd love to hear her question. Hi. Hi there. Hi. This is me, Siran. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. One second. I don't hear anything. I, I cranked up the volume for you. Should we hear her now? Okay. Let me say hi again. Hi. <laughs> okay. How this is Siran from Canada. Okay. I can't hear hi, you now. Hi, sweetie. Where in Canada are you? Uh, Toronto, North York. Oh, I love Toronto. You know, <laughs> my home in Michigan is very close to Toronto. I've been going to Toronto since I was a kid. Um, uh, actually, my mom and I did see you in Toronto. We came to one of your readings a few years ago. Oh, you did? And I did. I can't hear you. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. And so, so you came to one of my my readings, and that's great. Was it in a group? Uh, Toronto? A Was few it a years group? ago with Elaine? Oh my goodness! I still can't hear you. Did I do? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now I hear you. Okay. Again. Did 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 you do? Did I do a group reading? Yes, it was with a group a group reading indeed. Oh, how great. And what's your name? Siran. Siran. I'm originally from the Netherlands. Oh. That's where I saw you the first time. Oh, how great. How wonderful. You know, I, I love the Dutch people. They were always so great and so kind to me. I'm, I'm actually... We loved your show. Yeah. Well, thank you. I love doing my show, but, you know, nothing lasts forever. However... They just called us. They're going to be coming to America to do a story on me. That is fantastic. I forgot From the name RTL? of the show. Pardon? From RTL? Yeah. It's, a, it's somebody from RTL4. And I don't know. Nikki, do you want to text me and tell me the name of the show if you, if you can? I don't, I don't remember the name of the show. It's, it's something I, I can't remember. But anyway, I will find out. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you in the Netherlands now? No, you're in Toronto now. Yeah, I'm in Toronto now. I moved here three years ago. Oh, great. And do you like it? I love it. I really love it. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I, I've worked with City TV there and um, Breakfast Television, and uh, uh -huh. the people there are so nice. So, what? You have a question for me. What is that? Yes, I had a question uh, about uh, life after. We have uh, a lot of different loved ones in our lives, uh, mm -hmm. passing, staying, um, and we're during life already not all on the same energy level. Mm -hmm. um, does that make a difference when you die into what realm you go and if you will meet there again, yes or no? Boy, that's, that's a very profound question. That's a good, good question. So you're right. Different people are on different energy levels. So 
uh, I... I believe that when we go to the other side, you know, love is the bridge that connects us to the other side. And I think, Mm -hmm. I feel that we see the people that we love when we get there, but we we don't always stay on that same energy uh, plateau that that they're on, depending on on, on how how advanced our karma is and Mm -hmm. how, how elevated our souls are. Right. So, so there is a first meeting, but then you go each to your own point of learning and living. Exactly. That's really profound. That Did you come up with that on your own? Yes. I, I always wonder how that will be. Mm-hmm. I do have some rec- uh, uh, memories uh, from from home, and I do have a deaf, uh, deaf experience. And somehow, I always believe from child of on, like like you, I I will see again, but you are temporarily. You're not on the same energy. Like right. I always felt a difference in that. Yeah. And did you have a near death experience? Yes, uh, actually, I I died twice. Twice. Um, and on one, I could see myself go down, and I saw my own body and floating above it. Uh-huh. And then I got a push back into my body. It was very short. Mm-hmm. On another experience... Wait, were you, pro- um, wait, were you proclaimed dead for that moment, or you don't know? Yes, they had to restart my heart. Wow. How old are you? I'm uh, 45. And how old were you when this happened? Um, 16 or 17. And where were you in the Netherlands? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And another time when that happened, I somehow d- did first go into a scene of, of a plane. And in that plane, the plane turned open and uh, me and another person were the only one who did stand up and did step out into beautiful fields of flowers and green. And the other people from there were like shuttled away to somewhere else. Wow. You, you just gave me go- Kipperfeld goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> Kipperfeld. That's what they call goosebumps in the Netherlands. Yeah, Kipperfeld. Yeah. <laughs> Kippervel, is that it? I I, th- I said it wrong, yes. but Kippervel, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's were my two experience, and both times, it was such a warm and 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 warm and loving feeling. I felt so good. I never felt that good here on Earth as that I felt in those moments. Wow. And the moments I came back, I I really felt so disappointment for months in a row that I didn't get to stay. Wow, but 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 you you wanted to stay. Well, eventually, yes, because I clearly still have things to learn. Otherwise, I would not be here, and I want to do it right and not take like ten lives over it. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I'm texting Nicole because I don't think she heard me. Of what show in the Netherlands there? Yes, please. That means she's not watching. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> I mean, she's not. Well, that that's amazing that um, that it was a field of of green and flowers, right? Yes, yes. It felt so good. Like there's nothing you can compare it with here. That's amazing, and it's euphoric, right? Yes, exactly. And, yeah. And did you, you know it's a feeling that you just can't explain because it's so pure, it's so good. And and did the, you know they say that your life passes before you when you have a near death experience or when you die? When as I we cross over, really you didn't have, have that experience. That. No, I, I didn't have that my life was was I think I think that is also something that I do on a very regular basis in my dreams while right. I'm alive. So maybe, I don't know. I just did not have that. I went well, straight. But also, it wasn't your final time to cross over. True. But it, yes, also, true. it also says to me that you're a pure, good, loving soul. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and <laughs> it, it says to me that your that you live with compassion and love and kindness and so 
you I never do. have to yeah. be afraid to cross over because you're going to go to a good neighborhood. It sounds oh, amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Right. Not that I, I want it right now because I still have things to do. But right. But I know it's good. For you. Now, I was on Dr. Oz one time and they had this man yeah. who was an atheist, didn't believe in anything. And mm-hmm. he had a near-death experience, and he, he went to a very dark place, and it was he was in a oh. terrible pain, and he sm- it smelled oh, terribly, gee. and he started to call on God, because what else was he going to do, yeah. even though he didn't believe, and Christ came to him. I think I told this story right. uh, like a couple weeks ago, and Christ came to him and said... Um, I will take you back, but you have work to do on the earth, and you it's important wow. to live with my teachings of of love and and compassion and um that gives me goosebumps that is amazing right okay so it and 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 it's true, so he came back to talk about it, and now he believes in Christ, okay, so Nicole and is he watching change his whole energy and reactions towards people right. Right, and he'll probably go to a good place now when he crosses over. <clears throat> so the show, the show that they're going to do in the Netherlands is called "Everybody Talked About It," and I guess it's a new okay. show at RTL Four. I miss out on it. I'm sorry. I just heard it for the first time, but that really gives me goosebumps because that also shows that you can change your energy, and there is always a new chance. Right. Right. That's really true that we have choice and that people exactly. can, people can change. Yes. And yeah. it, even I always fully believe in that. Even if it means scaring the you know what out of them. The, putting uh-huh. terror big exactly. f- big fear in them. It it shows them that they can What do, what do you do for a living? Do you work? Um uh, at this moment, no, because I came to Canada to take care of my mom. She got ovarian cancer, oh. so I dropped everything in the Netherlands, and I came here to take care of her. Are you sweet? That's so sweet. <laughs> well, that's what you do for each other. <laughs> of course, and that shows that you're that you're a compassionate, kind, loving soul. So, can I ask you something? Just say yes or no. They keep showing me an A, okay. an A or M, an A or M. Initial person a. is that a female or male? Yes, a, a female. Female. Is it spelled a with an n in it or? Yes. Like Anna or a n. Oh my God! Anna? She just died. She just yes. died. Yes. She's here. Oh my God! That makes me teary eyed. Seriously. And she's she's watching over your mom too, and she wants you to know that she made it oh. to that beautiful place that you went to. Oh my God! I'm so happy for her. I'm so happy for Thank her. Thank you so much. I'm so happy for her. Who who was she to you? My dear aunt. Well, and my is, sister's mother, and she just died of cancer. Wait, your si- your sister's mother? No, your uh, mother's sorry, sister. My, uh, my mother's sister. I'm sorry, I'm just very overwhelmed. Okay, so she had cancer and your mom has cancer. Sorry? Your mother has cancer now as well. She does. I was wondering that because she has problems with her leg and she doesn't want to go to a doctor and cancer runs very strongly at her you side t- of the You family. get her to a doctor, but you're saying you went there to take care of her, so they got rid of the cancer or what? Oh, no, that's no, that's my Canadian mom. I'm sorry, I have two moms. I have a Canadian <laughs> mom. I'm very lucky and blessed. Okay. And I have a Dutch mom. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, your Anna is here watching over you, and and she, she just wants everyone to know she went to a good place. So that's the important thing to know. You are so lovely. It's really just so special to talk to you. Thank you so much for watching my shows in the Netherlands. And it was called Het Medium Char. And thank you for calling in on Char Vision. And please call in again. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too, honey. I'm sending you a big hug. God bless you. Big hug. Bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dag. (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do we have, Kurt? 
We have someone from Florida for you. Okay. Hello, my friend in Florida. Hello, Shar. Hi. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for asking. So what's your question? Well, I don't, I don't have a question. I just called in um, to uh, just get like a sh- short reading of, of, um, from you. Oh. I don't really have a question. Okay. Did, what, what, Kurt, did he ask a question on the thing? Oh, it said there was, there was a question here, but I can, I can grab another one from Florida. No, 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 no. That's okay. Um, I wasn't really going to start reading yet because do you have a question about life after death, though? That's what we're trying to share with people right now. Yeah, I wasn't. I was in praise of what the whole conversation was. I did have an experience uh, about eight, nine years ago. It wasn't a, a death experience, though. What was it? Uh, what, ha- what happened was I was traveling from Wh- Winnipeg to um, Florida. Uh-huh. You know, they, they made, the, the plane was stopping off in Minneapolis, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, and uh, what happened, there was some mechanical problems, so we had to stay overnight, right? Okay. So me and my wife were in the room, the hotel room, uh, outside of Minneapolis, mm-hmm. and um, I was reading a book, mm-hmm. and I was getting ready to go to bed, laying down, and all of a sudden, I seen, uh, it was like a full moon just floating across the room. Like an orb. And I know it wasn't dream. Like you an know, orb? Like, like a... Like a what? An orb, like a round circle. Well, it was like a perfect full moon. Yeah, I would say it was an orb. You know, I know yeah. what orbs are. And I, I got so scared. I, I, I went under the covers. And I said, please, God, make that go away. <laughs> 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 well, and I just, that's... And I'll tell you what happened, though. What? When, and this is, this is around New Year's Eve, right? Mm-hmm. When we got home, me and my friend uh, were doing some research on a hotel. And it seemed like a... a a, a, a young adult earlier that year, he he got stranded too with the flight, and he was up in that hotel. Yeah. And him and his friends were swimming in a pool, and this this boy happened to drown that night. And I, I called oh, the hotel wow. and told him what happened to me, and I said, "Hey, was was that guy in that same room I was in?" Uh huh. And I I never and I got so frightened, like I said, I I can't believe I'm seeing this shit. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's amazing. It wasn't lights from outside. It was just But in this but room your just... your instinct was that, was that? to mm-hmm. research this and to figure out that that somebody else had drowned in the pool. Right. So that's, that's probably I, that's I it's thought maybe. it's very likely you know, that that's maybe. who it could be. Right. I have another question too. I'm I'm planning a trip to uh, in September this year to Poland. I was wondering if you have any insights about my up and coming trip. I've never been to Europe. Oh wow! Is that where your family's from? Well, I'm, I'm a, from Polish heritage, but all my grandparents. Right, are your grandparents Polish. are from Poland. Um, right. What I've been telling people, I mean, I feel like it would be a safe trip. But make sure that this coronavirus is mm-hmm. is not anywhere. It make sure it's it's gone and it's not anywhere where you can right. catch it. That I, right. I'm not worried about the flight. I'm not worried about anything else. But I am concerned about this coronavirus. Right. So I did. What? I did call. I did call into you. Last May, latter part of May, and you, 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 you talked to me. Oh. And you're telling me, you're telling me about my daughter from Canada is going to make a good trip here, and we did have a real good time. Just want to let you know. Oh, that's so no, so so nice. Is there a Joseph around you? A Joseph or John or James? Uh, uh, you mean deceased? I don't know. Uh, I have a, a, a John as a relative. Who is that? Who is that? The grandfather on my mother's side. Yeah, who, I think I passed. have a feeling he's yeah. here right now for some reason. Now, was he on? Okay. Was he the one from Poland, or was that the other side? Well, he he is he's from Poland, but he 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 uh, had a heart attack uh, when he was like fifty two. He, yeah, he I feel before, like he's like, I feel like he's uh, happy that you're going to Poland. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel like, are you going to go to where his 
birthplace was or the uh, the, the city he lived in? Yeah, yeah we were. It's me, and my brother, and our wives were going. Um, and we we're going to visit four cities there. It's like a eleven day. And is tour, it is know? it a is it a city that he lived in or was born in? Uh, I have to. Somebody sent me a relative sent me something about where he was from and. I'm not, I'm not going to exactly that city, but it's but you're going near nearby, it. You know. That's great. Yeah, nearby, yeah. Well, I think he's here to let you know he's happy you're going. But then again, like I said, I really think people need to be careful with flying and being, you know, too close in contact if yeah. we don't know if people are healthy or not. Right. And when, but maybe by then it'll be gone. I mean, SARS went away quickly, so let's hope this does. Because this is a right. this is a global epidemic. This is not just. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it's so nice to talk to you. Talk to you. Thank, well, thank you so you, thank Thanks. you so much for calling. Thanks for picking me again. <laughs> of course, it's, it's thank Kurt. Kurt's doing the picking. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Hey, Kurt. Okay. Bye bye. You're welcome. Have a good have a good night. Bye-bye. You too. Bye bye. Are you ready for another one? I'm ready for another question. All right. Here we go. Uh, from Detroit. Detroit, my hometown. I was born there. Hi, Char. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm hanging in there. How are you? Good. How's everything at home? Oh, it's pretty good. How's the weather? I went and it's been pretty warm here. That's good, I guess. Right? Yeah. You went where? Oh, yeah. It's not been snowy and icy lately, you know. Oh, yeah, because it rains and then it, it, it freezes over and it's really dangerous. So you got to yeah. be careful there. Um, I, do you live in Detroit or in the suburb? In the suburbs. Which ones? Um, like White Lake. Oh, that's really beautiful there. It's amazing yeah, how beautiful I don't live the lake. Far from Alicia. Oh, you live near my sister. That's so great. Yeah. That's so great. So you had a question about um, about life after death or what happens. Yes, yes, because I used to get like visits and that, and I haven't for a long time. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering why is it that. Sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't. Did you know who was visiting or? Yes, my parents. Your parents. Well, sometimes mm -hmm. they take a little break. And then when they visit again, it's to probably tip you off about something to be prepared for in your life. Or how, like, they'll, it'll be a message for you. It might just be, I love you. But it, they'll probably come back with a message for you. So that's usually how it works. But it just because they're not here now, <clears throat> visiting now, it doesn't mean that they won't come back. Usually, I, I tell the story about my dad's only come to me maybe five times and he crossed over in 84. But when he comes, it's in a dream and I got to remember the dream because I'm being guided about something. So oh. there's, there's, there's your answer. Well, thank, have I read yeah, for you before? I, I've seen, yes, I've seen my dad, like, his spirit. But my mom, I've never had anything from her. Were you close to both of them, or did you have an issue with one of them? Or? No, I was very close to both of them. Okay, so you she'll probably show up. It'll just be when you really need to know something, and you'll be, your dream will wake you up. It'll be like a crazy kind of dream that wakes you up and I go, oh, there's my mom. And the, it, it may not be exactly what you're dreaming, but but it's it wakes you up to make you aware that she's there. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I guess it's just I couldn't understand because usually I get something from them, from people. Right. I haven't. Well, you don't it's they're just taking a little break it'll come back there might be other things that your guides and angel may be working on with you and when it comes back it usually comes back with a vengeance 
in a big way, in a good way. So thank you so much for calling. Okay. Okay, take good care of yourself. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, bye. So I said earlier in the show that I would tell you what I think happens when we cross over. Um, I, I do believe, like our friend from the Netherlands in Canada said, that we see loved ones that visit us, and I, I feel that people see their their divine maker, whoever that is that you resonate with. And then I feel like there's a white light that we're supposed to go to. Not everybody goes to the white light. <clears throat> some people stay earthbound for a while, and 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 for some reason they're able to do things like make lights go on and off, and I don't know, like make make the power go off or whatever. And so um, I feel like that when we get to that other side and if if for some reason somebody does see feel something negative or whatever you need to put yourself in the white light and in the mirrored egg that I talk about and tell whatever negative things if there is a negative thing I'm not saying there will be but you just tell it to go away it's not welcome there but most everybody if you live with a clear conscience and you live with a pure heart I mean nobody's perfect none of us are perfect <clears throat> but um it, we, you usually go to a euphoric place like that caller told us about, which is amazing. And she's not even afraid to cross over anymore. Anyway, um, we're going to take a little break. I want to thank Nicole for helping me in the office in Michigan. Thank you for being on your toes all the time. And um, thank Kurt for helping me out. And uh, I'm going to take some callers and do some readings. So don't go anywhere. Hey, everybody. It's Sunny and Shar, and I am so excited. I am over the moon to share with you that I have a new book coming out called The Universe is Calling You. And there's an amazing forward by RuPaul. There's an endorsement by Chris Colfer. It's about understanding your in intuition. It's about protecting yourself from negative energies. It's about understanding your essence and your true purpose and your soul's purpose on this earth. You can get it at barnesandnoble.com. You can get it at amazon.com. I would love for you to order the book and let me know what you think of it. Write a review for us if you feel like it. Thanks so much. Hey, everybody. It's Sunny and Shar, and I just wanted to answer a couple questions. People have been calling the office and texting and emailing. Do I do private sessions? Well, yes, I do. And uh, I love reading for my clients. I do phone, Skype, uh, FaceTime, and in person if we're in the same city. I also teach intuition. So if you have an interest in doing that, or if, you have to, uh, if you're interested in getting your family together and you want a group reading, I do those as well. So just call 248-909-2427, ask for Nicole, and I look forward to reading for you. Thanks. Okay, so we are back, and I'm going to take a few callers and do a few readings. So who do we have, Kurt? I'm counting on you to get me somebody who's open-minded. All right, I have someone <laughs> from San Diego for you. Okay, San Diego's always a good area. It's got a good energy. Who is this? Hello. My name is Sylvia. How are you, Sylvia? I am so terrific. Okay. Thank you for asking. Okay. So just be open about everybody living and deceased. And um, don't okay. say any names unless I, I, uh, uh, unless I, unless I say it first. And I'm getting, okay. some, I'm getting somebody with a B initial. Do you have somebody close to you that's a uh. B? A B yeah, or an a B uh, or an R? Well, uh, there could be a brother. Is he a B or an R? B. Is it B with an R in it? No. Is it a Bob or Bill? Yes. Which is it, Bob or Bill? Bill. Bill. And was there another William deceased? 
Um, well, n- another not other than him, no. Is Oh, is he deceased? Yes. Oh, he must be here. <laughs> so, <Really>? so... <laughs> So okay. he's he's a he's a William and a Bill like not everybody who's a Bill is a William. Correct. Some people called him William and some people called him Bill. Yeah, and I called him Bill. And is your mom deceased? Yes, she is. I feel like he's with your mom. Was he close okay. to was he close to your mom? Well, we didn't have the same mom. So oh. Oh, uh, then maybe it's I'm just some, your I mom. Think, maybe it's just your mom coming in. And is there an A or M person? Is there an A or an uh, a, f- a like a uh, a mother grandmother? I don't, I don't mm-hmm. have any. Uh, no. And a middle name? No. Uh, um. No. I think there is. <laughs> uh, is it, do you know Mike? Do you know Mike? Or did your brother know Mike or Mark? Um, I'm sure they probably did. Yeah, but you don't know. I, I don't I don't know a Mike, no. Okay. Uh, I don't know a Mike or a Mark that would have known Bill. Is there someone else that's a Mike or Mark not connected to Bill? Um, that that I know. Yes. Yes, I I I do I didn't know a Mark. Is he deceased? Yes. I think Mark is here too. Wow. Was that was was there a romance with him or just a friendship? Both. Yeah, he's he's saying you're hot. <laughs> So, okay. So I don't. I mean, and I also feel like he says he he screwed something up with the relationship. Is that true? Uh, that's, uh yeah. Or it just went. I would say, I would say equal. Uh, it was equal. Problem. I I think he's you know? apologizing for not working harder at it, but he still has uh he still thinks you're beautiful he still thinks you're sexy he still thinks you're special well he was very good at that he was good at right he was a good schmoozer <laughs> yes very, yeah so very sweet soul very very sweet soul yeah he really um he was very fond of you and i feel like it was hard for him to break off and then um, well, do you have an S or C person or a J? Uh, S or C or J? Yeah. Deceased or living? I don't know. Um, or, do you have anyone living that's a J mm, or an S or C? Well, um, I have a sister with an S name. I have, um. You have a sister with an S Yes, I do. Is it S with an N in it or an R? No. It's uh, not. Did you say M as in Mary or N as in Nancy? N or M? Uh, N as in Nancy, yes. Is it like a Susan or Sandra or yes. Sandy? Susan. Susan? Su- Susan. And Susan. She, she's, mm-hmm. living, she's living though, right? Correct. And is is her... Is is Bob her stepbrother or her brother? I mean Bill, sorry. Bill. Bill, Bill is her brother. She she's actually my half sister as well. Yeah, I feel like he wants we, you to send to... he wants you to send his regards to her. Wow. Well, that that would be that would be Bill because we are estranged. Who you and that Sue? Be, you and be. Sue? Oh, you and Susan are. Yes. Okay, correct. then don't do it if if it's going to cause havoc. 
Well, it's it's not on my part. It was on her part. And she you might know, she, she might think this is just an excuse for you to call her. So if you ever right. do connect with her again, you could say, you know what? I called a psychic once. She picked up on Bill, and he's sending his regards over. But you know, if she's if she's acting that way, don't open a whole can of worms again. It's it's not healthy psychologically for you. Absolutely. It it was always um, difficult. Her and mother it, died, and it probably and then, a jealousy, probably jealousy. Ex- exactly. Like exactly. She, like she, she was jealous, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't good, and um, that's it okay. Was, you know, when we were children. So yeah, you, you that wow. there may be a connection again down the road, and if so, you can do it. But you know, to, well, they they go well. Yeah, some big excuse. Sure, she talked to a psychic. Sure, she talked to Bob, Bill. I mean, you know, she she, right. she she turned it backwards on you. So don't do it. So just spirit, spirits are like friends. They can give us good advice and bad advice. And if Bill's saying that, it's well, not always the best advice right now. Well, okay. The, the other brother, the other brother uh, in this equation, John, is the one that uh, usually is the one that does the touchy-feely, you know, call your sister kind of thing. So I, I do have a, 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 a – I was thinking I was going to get picked for the um, – question about the afterlife. I oh, tell, well, we're happy what, to hear it. What is it? Well, I wondered what you thought about animals and if they really come and, I mean, I know. You know, it, it's interesting. Yeah. I almost mentioned animals when I was talking to that young lady. I almost mentioned it because animals are pure, unconditional, loving souls and on, and we if we love them and are connected to them, we see them again when we get to the other side. But they go to an animal heaven till we get there. And the animal heaven is because when she said fields of flowers and stuff, I remember going to, having a dream of my horse in a field running around of green and flowers. So, and a tree, yes. one tree, one oh, tree in the middle I, of the I, thing. Yeah, I lost. I lost a, um, well, not lost, but my best little buddy passed away about a month ago. Oh, I'm and so sorry. I've been, thank you. Thank you. I contemplated, I've been contemplating getting a new kitty and, um, oh. I found, and, and I've been looking, uh-huh. just sort of casually looking and, um, I found a whisker today in the house and, uh, I've been actually talking to somebody about a rescue who looks just, well, almost like the cat that had passed away. Wow. And I found this big, big, long whisker, and I thought, is this a little sign? Am I getting a sign that this is a good thing? Because it would be a real rescue situation. Did you say his name is Whisker? Whiskers, or the he What's had that? whisker? I I found the whisker of my the animal that passed oh then it's a sign then it's a sign (laughs) it's a sign you need to go get that sunny don't what what does sunny think sunny says mommy why are you making me sit here for an hour oh (laughs) ask ask him ask him yeah ask him if it's a good i i have a I will, you'll laugh. I have to come to Palm Springs to get him. Oh, that's crazy. Well, I do in-person readings in Palm Springs if you're ever interested. But um, oh, I, know. I feel, though, that it's definitely a sign for you. And you need to go get but your he's kitty. Only been, he's, he, he's only been gone a month. Well... But- I, I think if you've had a good marriage, you go and get another marriage. Usually, you know, it's like people that haven't had a good marriage, they think. And oh, you, I'll you have all this again. love to That's give, so but you know, no, you know, no animal replaces another animal. No person replaces no, another no. person. But I know. you know, it'll probably That's be true. a different kind of energy. But I, why don't you go meet the cat and see how you feel? That's what I'm going to do. You don't make any decisions. Don't make any decisions ahead of time. 
Just go and meet the cat and see how you feel. Like, I knew right away when I found Sonny on eBay, but my mom's spirit guided me to him, so I I got lucky. But but you're, but whis- the whisker you found is probably gonna is probably a sign, so you better go see that kitty. Well, I saved it, and I, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Um, you told me one time that uh, usually we, our, our spirit guides, corroborate or tell us that, yes, you're thinking correctly. And right. They sort of reval- you know, validate that what we're feeling exactly. and seeing they validate, is the right thing. They validate and they verify. And, you know, it's, yes. it, there's no real rule about when you get another animal. It's just like there's no real rule about when someone crosses over how soon they can come back and visit. Sometimes they can come back and visit that night or the next day. So if you have oh a feeling God. about this yeah. cat, I say go for it. Well, their names are very similar, and they, they look kind of a lot alike. And uh, it just, you know, it's one of those things I just think, oh, my gosh, he needs me. Well, yeah, and that sounds, which is different, which, yeah. that sounds like which, more which than is, coincidence if their names are alike. <laughs> well, and which, which is different from me saying, I have to go get another cat for me. I'm right. feeling this cat needs me to come and get him. Then you Which, better then you better get to Palm Springs. Where where are you now? <laughs> where do you live now? I mean I uh Carlsbad. Well, it's I don't know how far that is, but you it, I think you need well, to go visit. It's, it's about an hour and a half. Uh, actually I I'm actually I'm planning on coming uh in about uh, 2 weeks. So, just for a little relaxation so oh to palm springs <sighs> you know I, i'm doing a yeah. an intuition retreat there in uh oh god nikki's gonna kill me um <laughs> i think it's the end end of february it is it's the end of february i'll have to look at the newsletter and check those dates i don't i actually don't publicize it at all i only invite people i like oh. and i like you <laughs> oh my gosh okay oh, gosh. well thank you so much for well, for um calling in and good luck and it's definitely a sign i mean what are the odds to find one simple little whisker in in a whole big place well right and and these are huge whiskers because he was a big main coon cat right and, and i mean they're they are they are four or five inches long and I don't clean as well as I used to, but I don't know where this whisker came from because all of a sudden it was in the middle of my hardwood floor. That's crazy. So, That's crazy. I know. I know. But I'd love to think that he was telling me, go get the new boy. Go you know? get it. Go, go for was- it and drive safe. <laughs> thank you so okay, much. Okay. Thank Always you so nice much. With you. It's my pleasure. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, that's it for now. I appreciate everybody calling in. Um, I appreciate Nikki for always being on her toes in my office and staying up so late with Carter to help us get this um, show going. And, Kurt, you're always a pleasure to work with. You are always welcome on Char Vision. And... um, Don't forget to look for The Universe is Calling You, my new book. And uh, we're going to see you next week, and I'll take callers again next week. And remember, intuition will take you places logic never could. Take good care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.